It's one of the best short little day trips that you could make, and the historic town of Bell Buckle, Tennessee, is giving you lots of reasons to come check out all their cafes, shops, and events this season. Tori Taff is here, and we're so glad to see you. Well, thank you. I appreciate you having us here. It's a great time to make a road trip to Bell Buckle, isn't it's it? It's always a great time to make a road trip to Bell Buckle, but especially in the holidays. We've got a lot going on. We've got so many little charming shops and antique stores and boutiques, and there's just about no way to not have a great time in Bell Buckle. That sounds great. If you wanted to skip the mall and do your holiday shopping Absolutely. in Bell Buckle, you could make it a day trip or make it a weekend. Absolutely. We have bed and breakfast. We have four bed and breakfasts in town that are available. And um, we've got every weekend in December, and we start, especially our first weekend, is very special. We have, it's called Old Fashioned Christmas, and we have lots of things going on, free things for the family. So if you want to bring the kids and you don't want them to get bored, they can uh, take a ride in Santa's sleigh. Really? Yes, and they can have s'mores, and they can have hot chocolate. And, um, and all that's free. All that is free. It's a very family-friendly environment. And then while the kids are doing that, you can be going in and out of the shops. You can hit the Bell Buckle Cafe and have a wonderful lunch. We have a tea room. We have an ice cream store, historic ice cream store. There's lots of things to do to make not just a let's go get the present trip, but a let's have a wonderful weekend trip. Yeah, definitely. Tell me about this beautiful grits cake Isn't you've got going fabulous? on here. Yeah. This is one of the Bell Buckle Cafe's signature desserts, as we say. This is kind of a warm vanilla pudding cake. Mm. Um, it doesn't taste like grits. It has a little bit of a bite to it, almost like a risotto, Yeah. except it's sweet, of course. And then we treat it like a strawberry shortcake and top it with strawberries and whipped cream. That's One of the many, many things that will make you expand during the holiday. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and after you eat this, you could buy the cookbook that includes that recipe. Absolutely. We've got, uh, and this, actually, the proceeds from this cookbook go to help our Bell Buckle Park. And um, we also, this is the um, Bell Buckle Cafe is featured in the Tennessee Backroads cookbook as well. We're real proud of that. And um, the recipe for the grits cake is in that book. Nice. Uh, Bell Buckle's getting some great honors, too, um, as, a, as a wonderful small town. It is. We're kind of turning into the it town. <laughs> uh, it's a quaint and quirky place. It's always been historically full of artists and full of creatives, and that's been recognized now. Uh, Smithsonian Magazine has mentioned it as one of the places that you must see in 2017. Wow. Uh, Southern Living currently, I think the current issue has got an, an um, article about um, Bell Buckle, but also particularly about that historic soda shop that I was telling you about called the Bluebird. So many fun things to do and see there. It's always a great visit whenever you go to Bell Buckle. Thanks for being with us, Tori. Thank you so we much, and we'll it. see you in Bell Buckle. I hope you will. We're going to link you to bellbucklechamber.com for the entire schedule of events all holiday season long.